Rebuilding a model steam plant, part 31. The piping begins, starting with the hand pump, rethreading PM research components and joint sealing using Loctite 542. I've moved the steam plant up into the main workshop because I need to do things that I can't do in the workshop that's attached to the house. What I'm currently doing is re-threading a PM Research elbow because the American quarter by 40 standard and the English quarter by 40 standard is slightly different. I'm running a quarter by 40 plug tap down into the elbow which will put this matter right. That's because this is an English quarter by 40 plug tap. All the PM research parts fit together perfectly, but I want to fit one of my stock English double unions, because at this point the piping changes from the modular system from PM research to a length of ordinary copper pipe which runs right past the burner and up to the check valve on the boiler. Originally I did think about coiling this copper around the burner, but I changed my mind, the water will be warmed sufficiently by the pipe going right next to the burner which gets very hot. In this clip you can clearly see what I'm doing. I'm partially dismantling the piping into various different sections. Then I will refit this pipe and also use some Loctite 542 to seal it. And this includes the unions that are into the pump body. As usual, I'm using my very reliable, very old, and very good Barco Spanner. A while ago, a viewer from Sweden pointed out that I mispronounced the word Barco. I look at it as B-A-H-C-O, which I pronounce Barco. But according to this viewer from Sweden, it is pronounced Barco. Here, I'm going to use some Loctite 542 to make sure that nothing leaks. This stuff is really good. It's actually pronounced Loctite 542, and I always use it anywhere where there is a joint, and I never get any leaks. The outlet pipe on the pump is now in its final resting place. The next thing to do is to silver solder a quarter by 40 coned union onto the end of a piece of 5 32nd of an inch pipe. But before I do that, I want to remove the check valve that I fitted to the boiler. This one was of Chinese origin and I just didn't like the look of it. Why did I fit it to the boiler? It was the only check valve I had at the time that was threaded quarter by 32 threads per inch instead of the usual quarter by 40. But now the good news is my friend Chris English at CM Engineering is making quarter by 32 check valves. And I bought half a dozen of these from Chris, one of which I gave to my friend James Evans for his Stuart 500 boiler that I also gave him a while back. I don't suppose there's too much wrong with this check valve, but when I blow through it using my mouth, it lets air through, and I really don't think it's supposed to do that. The check valve from Chris English doesn't leak at all, and it's physically smaller and looks better. It's all a matter of taste. Have a look at this image and make your mind up. I know which one I prefer. Anyway, back to the job. I tried a test fit in the boiler using the new check valve, but it didn't end up in the right position. Here's the hole in the boiler where the other check valve was, and you can clearly see some remnants of the last Loctite 542 that I applied. In my box of shim washers, I found a genuine Stuart quarter inch shim washer, so I used that. I applied some Loctite 542 and tightened the part in place. Unfortunately, the Loctite 542 is a really good paint remover, removing the paint from the hexagon part. I'll touch this in with some black paint when the job's a bit further on. Having a look at the pump connections, I can see that one of the PM Research elbows has been made leak-proof by using what looks like epoxy resin or something similar. In a box of PM Research parts, which was sent to me by a customer, I found this. It's quite a lot of epoxy resin that's been used to physically stick a union nut onto the end of a piece of PM Research brass tubing. There are always different ways of doing these jobs. For the moment, though, I think I will stick to Loctite 542. It makes the job a bit neater. In the next episode, I'll be fitting the piece of copper piping to this fitting at the pump end and also the check valve on the boiler. But that's it for now. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainstream Models website, 
and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.